So right now, I am in Brent's lair. This is like a shop in his backyard. It's freaking massive in here. He has a whole bunch of Honda parts, like just blocks and cranks over there. Just so much stuff, so many toys. But uh, he has this old shifter cart frame that's been in here for a while and he's letting me take the steering stuff off of it to use for the shopping cart. So I'm gonna be pulling off the steering wheel and the steering column and all these little brackets and stuff and transferring that stuff onto the shopping cart and hopefully that will all work good. So really cool of him to let me take this stuff. And I guess I'm gonna get started, pull everything apart, gotta find some tools because I have no idea where anything's at in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling everything I need off of it and head back to my place. So I just got back with the steering stuff I took off that cart and I'm gonna go ahead and start ripping off all the old stuff on the shopping cart and start making new brackets to get all this stuff mounted up. And once I get all this stuff on there, it should be way more solid. I mean, the old stuff I had was so ghetto. I don't even have all the bearings in the wheels. And I had all these nuts as spacers, which was really hood. And the worst part was that I didn't even have the right uh, like shaft right there to fit the bearing. So when that goes on like that, it's really loose. Nice and loose on that shaft. And then this one right here fits in nice and tight. Well, I can't really get it in there, but you guys get the idea. So there'll be a lot less play right there. And this thing won't be as jank to drive around. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start ripping all this old stuff off and we'll go from there. All right, so I just got all the steering stuff uh, taken off and I ground off these plates right there. I'm just gonna leave those and use those to mount the new hardware that I make for it. And I have these two tabs right here. Uh, I found these laying around. These already had the two holes drilled in each one and they're gonna be perfect for making brackets. I'm just gonna cut them to length and then re-weld them to make a 290s like how I did on the old ones, which one is over here. So pretty much just remaking that same bracket, but to fit these new uh, little control arm things right here. Drilled this hole bigger right here with my unibit, and uh, that's to allow this little thing to fit right in there like that, and that is made for this bolt to go through right there, and then that goes through all of this stuff. So I don't need to use this, but since these holes right here are a little loose with that bolt, and this bolt slides nice through there, so I need to use this size anyway. Um, I'm just gonna use this piece because that's what it was made for. So I'm gonna get all those drilled out bigger and then cut these to length and start making some brackets to fit these guys right here. So I just got this bottom piece tacked to one of the tabs I made and I was able to put it all back together and now I can see where this bottom one needs to go. So I'm just gonna press it up just like that, give it a couple more tacks on the inside of this guy right there and then I'll just cut off the excess and weld it up and this bracket will be done and then I just gotta get the other side done and we can get to mounting them on the cart. So I got both of those brackets all the way welded up. This one's already pretty much put together right there. The other one's sitting behind me, they're ready to go. So I'm gonna try to get these welded onto the cart and what I originally was gonna do is use this piece of tubing right here and kinda use that to attach it from the cart to the little bracket I just made. But with how tight I wanna keep these wheels to the cart, I want them to look like kinda good, nice and tucked in. 
I'm actually just gonna weld the bracket straight on to the cart. The only problem I may have with attaching these on there, I mean, it's not really that big of an issue, but it might just look a little worse than it could be. It would look a little better if I used that tubing to mount these, but this will definitely be a lot easier. I'm just gonna weld this straight to it like that, and I have to put quite a bit of angle into it because the way these uh, go-kart spindle things are designed, they're made to have a slight angle to them to keep the axle straight. I'm sure there's some geometry behind that. I don't know why they're made like that, but all like the shifter carts and racing go-karts, all of the brackets sit at an angle and also they like tilt one way or the other. I'm not really worried about the tilt and getting all that correct. I just wanna make sure it steers right and that the tires are straight and flat. So I'm just going to put the tire on there and adjust this to the angle I need it and tack it on right there and just kind of go from there. Right now I have the cart sitting on my angle grinder. It's nice and level right where I want it. So I'm gonna get the tire on there and kind of just hold it to where it would be flat and tack it on and I'll weld it across the top and then I'll make a little bracket for the bottom to support that. Because if I were to weld this flat on just like that, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but the uh, spindle points down towards the ground with like a lot of positive camber. So that's not gonna work. So I just gotta put a little tilt into it and it'll be good. So I'm gonna get both of those welded on and then I can try to uh, get the tie rods and shit connected. So I got both those tacked on and we kinda have steering again. So getting closer and for being eyeballed on there, they look pretty good. Any uh, like camber adjustments I still need to make before I weld it all up can be made. I can just bend it since they're tacked on the top, but they are honestly looking pretty straight. So they might just need to come in just a little bit, but I'm gonna call it good for now. As long as it works, that's all I really care about. And as long as it doesn't fall apart when I'm going fast, not really worried about it. Not trying to race this thing on a track or nothing fancy like that. So now I'm gonna try to cut these push rods to length and get them attached to the steering column. Uh, right now I just have the steering column tacked to the cart just right there. Uh, and I kind of sat in it already. Actually the tacks held up with my weight in it, but I was putting most of it in the back. But I already sat in it and kind of got the steering wheel where I want it to sit. So it does sit pretty far forward and kind of high up, but that is probably in the most comfortable spot with me sitting in it. And I'll show you guys what else I got for it. I had something else in there when I was sitting in it. But that's a pretty good spot for the steering wheel. I think it looks good right there as well. So I might change it later on. I might uh, extend that steering column a little bit later but for right now that should work great so i'm just going to cut the tie rods to length and i can always adjust these later if i need to since they have the the heim joints that have quite a bit of thread on each side so i'm gonna cut a section out of the middle of each of these to straighten them out looks like i'm gonna have to cut out a good couple inches and then just re-weld them and put the heim joints back in the end of each one and get them bolted to the column. And then I can start on bolting the column down and making it actually spin, because right now it's just tacked to the cart, so it's not gonna spin at all. So, gonna get those cut and hopefully mount it up. All right, so I just went ahead and pretty much got almost everything done. Uh, there's still a lot of things that are just tacked up, but as you can see, I got my tie rods cut to length, uh, re-welded, and already fitted them up. Straightened out the tires as best I could, just eyeballed it, but those look pretty good right there. The last thing I will need for the steering, besides welding everything down, is to put like the main hoop right here, and that will bolt to this last bracket right there, and that'll hold all this stuff stable up there, because right now the only thing holding the steering column up is this zip tie. I just kind of have that zip tie to keep it up there, so you guys can kind of see what it's gonna look like. I also added uh, two little supports underneath the brackets right there So I need to weld those all the way and I'm probably also gonna make some triangle pieces to go on right there for more support I need to weld the tops of those and I also made this front bracket right here to hold the Front little support for the steering wheel or the steering column I mean so pretty much everything on the steering is ready to go as you guys can see I got a bright yellow racing seat in there that is for a real car for real race cars. Uh, this thing is pretty beat up. 
And once again, got that from Brent. This whole build is pretty much just sponsored by PFI. I mean, I got all this stuff from Brent. He hooked it up. I mean, he really likes this thing, so he's helping me out. And I just can't thank him enough. I would have not got this far if it weren't for him. So all these parts he gave me and everything, I mean, he's just awesome. But I got this racing seat in there, and it looks kind of big. And I was actually thinking about going like with a bucket seat like that, like a standard go-kart style seat. But this has so much more room in there and it's so much more comfortable. And with the seat like raising you up, it is actually really comfortable. And I really like the look of it besides that seat being kind of gross. But it is really comfortable to sit on. And since I have solid mounts and no suspension whatsoever, that is gonna be way better than just a hard plastic uh, bucket seat because that would get really uncomfortable really fast. And it's already cramped enough as is in there, so having a nice padded seat can't hurt. And with this seat, how it is, it has the rails, and that raises it off the bottom of the cart a good couple inches, I'd say, maybe inch and a half. And that'll give me room to run a shifter rod underneath the seat to go to the gear selector on the engine. So whenever I get to that. But I definitely got really far on it. The steering is pretty much done, like I said. Let me show you guys. Steers pretty good, so no play at all anymore, and it actually didn't steer all the way because this old steering wheel is in the way. But yeah, way better than the old system. Everything's solid, nothing is like rattling and loose except for the steering wheel, which I will fix probably tomorrow, get that main hoop done. But this thing is coming together really nice, so yeah. So soon I will be trying to make a gas pedal and brake pedal and get all that stuff run. Uh, probably gonna put the clutch on the steering wheel. Gonna make a switch panel probably underneath the steering wheel right there. Run all my switches. Here's the starter switch right there that's hooked up. Got the throttle cable just kind of resting on the steering wheel. So I still need to hook a lot of things up, but she's getting there. So real quick, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with me sitting in it. And this is why I said uh, earlier on that I might raise that steering column just because it does sit pretty low compared to the seat. Might try to get the steering wheel like maybe another foot higher up here if I can, but how it sits right there is still not bad. So I'll show you what it looks like with me sitting inside of it. So it's pretty comfortable honestly, just my legs don't have much room on either side of the steering wheel. So if I can raise it to about right here, that would be ideal, but like this, I can honestly drive it just fine, and it is so comfortable with the seat in here. So, it's getting there, can't wait to drive it. It's definitely gonna be sick. So, still got a lot to do though. But guys, that is gonna be it for tonight. Uh, pretty uneventful video, kind of boring, so sorry if it wasn't that entertaining. Just trying to knock this thing out, get things done. We will have a video uh, very soon about Charlie's, because as you can see, the motor is not in the Geo anymore, but this one is about the shopping cart. Just showing the progress on that. Got the steering done, got a seat for it. So there will be more to come on this thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight, guys. So thanks for watching.